The next step is to prepare your Hall Effect device. So the device, I'll just spread these wires a little bit. The device has got some chamfers on it and when you hold it with the chamfers down positive is on the right negative is in the middle output is on the left so what we want to do is to bend it at 90 degrees and then to uh, connect some little wires to those so i'll just split those off so that they're a bit easier to handle in a moment so i'll bend that in there i don't want to bend that too much so we've split that off so once you've got that ready to that point we're a bit tight for room so we won't insulate them at this point so once you've got them to that point then you can take your wire and thread it through there your wire by the way needs to be probably around about 400 450 long so that you can get it all the way up into the head so once we've got it into that position you can see there we've got it to there rotate it around till it's in the right position and then we can push it down into that slot and put some CA glue or some hot glue or something in there to hold it in place but if you use hot glue make sure that before you do, do fix it in place that you go to the back here and spread these spread these apart so that they're not um, shorting out on one another so just make sure that your connections are separate and once they're separate that's a bit uh, mucked up there but once they're separate then you can put a little dab of hot glue in this hole and a little bit of hot glue on the back here to keep them in position and keep them insulated so that they don't short out one to the other so i won't go any further with that but that one you can see that the idea is fairly straightforward so just to recap i'll just pull that out again so just to recap when you hold it in this position with the chamfers underneath positive is on the right negative in the middle signal on the left okay so we've done that one at the same or the next point you can go to is to take the base and your five millimeter magnets you notice i've got a few here because it's easier to handle this way so if they're like that you take them and and put them against the face like that and then just slide one off the end into each hole so just without it rotating rolling over just slide it off and push it into the hole you may have to use a tool to push it in there but don't let them rotate around just slide them slide them straight off and then the next one in the next hole slide it straight into the next hole without changing the orientation and that'll end up working correctly for you so once you've got those in you might have to use a little bit of um, uh, ca glue if you decide to or uh, a little bit of blue tack or even just if they stay in there and you assemble it that's fine as well as it'll just once they're in position and it's assembled like that and you push this one home i won't just now because it's a little bit tighter but um, once they're in position you can test it and uh, so that all is okay so testing is quite simple i won't do it right now but testing is a matter of putting five volts onto the other end of your wire and negative and then as this rotates then measure the output on here with a multimeter and it should uh, deviate between uh, one volt or, or so up to four to five volts so it should show you that movement as this rotates so that's that section of it so we've got the hall effect device and the magnets done